Hello YouTube, welcome to the Turbo Series. Today we're going to do something huge that I've been waiting a very long time for. Remember last week we picked up a ton of Destiny stuff and we got cores as well? We got a load of resources to help this account. What I'm ready to do now is go ahead into the Transition Temple and finally get ourselves the big milestone we've been waiting for. We want to get ourselves to level 4 because that is going to get us bonuses here in Divine Power. Because level 3 is plus 1, but once you got level 3, we definitely can get level 4. And the big thing about getting plus 2 Divine Power is it's not just that. We get ourselves the next upgrade on our heroes. So Patricia will be no longer stuck at D3 here where she's upgraded with Chaos. She'll get the one above that. We will unlock Core, which is going to be fabulous. I mean, we're not going to get anywhere near to Polystar yet. <laughs> I mean, that would be pretty crazy. But yeah, Core 100 will be kind of cool to have. We might go with Patricia's. We could even go with Natalie's if we wanted to. But to do that, we're going to need four heroes, all Destiny improved. Now, also, we can get ourselves, if we want to, another Transcendence hero today as well. Because we have 10 cores of Transcendence right here. We have 4.4 million crystals of Transcendence there. And on top of that, we have an astronomically fantastic event here. Potentially, if we high roll, because we're getting 40 cores of transcendence here, and there's this big old chest, the VIP Reverie, which is giving us some of the most amazing resources in the game. And I am a bit of a gambler sometimes, so I'm curious to see whether we high roll. So, folks, let's kick things off today by buying the Lollipop Factory package purely to get those cores and some rewards in the VIP Reverie. Let's do this. There you go, we have bought the package, which means the VIP Reverie chests are ready for the opening. But before we do that, let's be sensible. We'll convert our story gems onto the account, which is nice. You're probably wondering why my story gem total is a little smaller. I loan some story gems to the VIP series. Nothing strange, I'll pay myself back. But also remember the VIP series also loaned 40,000 story gems to this account. So <laughs> I think it deserves <laughs> a little bit of payback. Anyway, we are gonna go ahead and open these VIP Reverie chests. Now, for those of you curious how the odds work on this, because there's a 5% chance to get the top rewards, that means the chance of us not getting that is about 60%. Because there are 10 openings, and there's a 95% chance not to get it, and to get 95% 10 times in a row is 60%. Sounds confusing statistically, but that's just the way it works. Don't shoot me. It's just maths, kids. But it does mean we have a pretty solid chance, a good a good 40% chance of picking up one of these. So if we do pick them up, we then have a 1 in 10 chance of getting, I don't know, cores or something. I think the only bad thing here is potentially Master's Toolboxes for me specifically. Everything else is fine. So I, I'm generally curious to see what we get. So here we go. We'll open our first one. We'll do one at a time. Whoa! Already? That's a solid pull, right? That's a triple sublimation chest. Not bad. I I'm happy with that one. Next one. It's okay. Some scattered spirit vein shards. I mean, of all the low rolls to get, that's a solid low roll. Ooh, let's go! Wow! Bro, I got a core chest. Dude, that's sick. Hello, baby. Nice. That's like the probably up there is one of the best things you can get. 2,500 Aurora Gem Shards. Meh, that's not great. Next one. Okay, 125k on Crystals of Transcendence. No way, no way. Ah, boys, it's the bad one. <laughs> womp womp. Oh, could you, could you imagine if that was another one? That would have been crazy. Right, next, here we go. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's another bad one. Ah, boo. Okay, come on. Get me some stellar shards. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's a high roll on Aurora Gem shards. It's not the highest of high rolls, but that's still pretty solid. Next one. Okay, 40 Master's Toolbox is not great. And the last one, come on, give me a big high roll. No, four cores. You know what? I'm still happy with that, man. That was all right. I got a core chest. <laughs> it's still decent, yeah. And um, of the mid-rolls we got as well, they were pretty good. Aurora Gem Shards, Sublimation. I honestly only got one bad thing there, which was the 40 Masters Toolboxes. Everything else was, was pretty clean. Nice. Happy. Very happy with that. Cool. Right, let's go ahead and put all that to use then. We'll go ahead 
and start making progress. We're going to go ahead and cash in cores. We now have a whopping 54 of them. So we're going to do 50 all here in Guidance. We need Mockmen, we need Arrhenius. So let's go ahead and open all 50 of them immediately and see what we can grab. Let's get some Mocky boys. Come on. Okay, we get a sphere here. That's not bad. Wox, hello. Thanks for the prime. Meow. Meow to you too. Let's go with another open. What do we get? Okay, Arania and another sphere. Expected that sphere, but still the Arania is nice. Another Arania there. That's kind of nice. And the last 10, what are we getting? A Mockman. Very good. And oh my word. Chat. That's not fair. I have nearly enough for a Transcendence Hero. What a kick in the balls. If I opened the singles, we would have 5 million. So we're going to have to open the singles. Here we go. There is a Margaret. That's going to be a Molassa. There's a Fagan. And that's an Iron Bambi. And as you can see, we have made it to over 5 million. Nice. What that also does is it completes my heroic miracle, which is pretty nice. <laughs> But anyway, we need to go ahead and improve our transition temple. So let's look at this smartly. To get our first level here in the transition temple, we need three heroes at origin. Now, those of you that know my situation with cores, you'll know I have a full core on Patricia. You'll know I have a full core on Natalie. And I need to finish this core on Aelomac. So to do this, I'm going to need to get myself another few Aelomac cores. So right now... I don't actually have any Aelomac cores at all, so we need to open four chests for Aelomac. Fortunately, though, I do have seven chests there. There's also one here as well, so that's pretty much an entire core's worth of chests, actually. I also have a hundred down here, but I don't think that contains Aelomac's core. No, it doesn't, and this one also does not contain it. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead, start here, and we'll grab Aelomac's core from there. That's going to be one, and then I need to open three more up here for Aelomac, and that's going to be enough to make him a noble core. So let's grab these here from the Coral of Origin Shards. We'll go across to Aelomac, and we should be able to make this thing noble now. If we go into the tree, press the big green arrow, and pop these two boys in, level up, and that's a noble core. Next up, we need to get some more Stellar Shards on the account, so I'm going to open all those spheres we got. We got three of them, so that's going to be enough for us to be at 6.8. Okay, that's not a lot of Stellar Shards. We might be short on some. I'm a little anxious about that. But either way, we definitely can upgrade Aelomax Tree to get him to level 120, which means we can begin to Destiny him, which is exactly what we're going to do. So let's back out of here. Let's go into his Destiny improvements. Let's Destiny transition him. We have a lot of stuff for this. We have plenty of Crystals. We have plenty of Aurora Gems. We have plenty of Scattered Spear Vein Shards. In fact, we can probably get some more Aurora Gems here. Yep, there's another three. Uh, so let's go ahead and upgrade this all the way to Origin 100. All right, there we go. That's Origin 100 on the Aelomac. Which means if we go into the temple now, we can get ourselves another level. So there we go. Now for this next one, we need two heroes at Surge 2, which means we need to get ourselves another Transcendence Hero. Now, if you know anything about my core situation, you'll know that just casually chilling in the bag, I have Mockman's core. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap Elena to Mockman. So for that, I need to actually build a Mockman. So I'm going to see how I'm doing for dark food or if there's any viable way of doing this. Uh, not really. I think I'm going to have to swap that Amon Ra to a Mockman to make this work. That's completely fine. So we'll start by doing that. So let's go ahead and convert Amon Ra to Mockman. There you go. Perfect. So that's five soul symbols used to get Mockman on the account. So with this swap, that's going to save Elena's stones and everything, so we're not going to lose anything heavy for her. But we are going to still get Mockman into the account nicely, and it rips everything off of Elena whilst we're at it. So now our job is going to be to upgrade this Mockman all the way up. So it's going to take a while, but we will be getting him to Void 4 and Tree of Origin, and we can use a lot of 9 stars to get there too. So you can see here, I have a lot of 9 star heroes just chilling. The Dominator, the Ice Blink, the Queen, the Karim, the Emily... So yeah, I don't mind using them as food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of those to help level up this Mockman. So for E1 and E2, we'll use two of those nine stars. So I'll just pop Karim in like this. But we are going to need more Mockman copies. Now, do I have Mockman here? Yes, I do. Perfect. So that's four Mockman right there. We can add. That's perfect. So we start with E1. We've got a nine star Karim. We'll put a Mockman there. 
upgrade. There you go. And for E2, I'll do a similar thing, but this time I'm going to use a different hero. I'll use Emily this time. Add in the Mockman, and there's E2. Now we've got a ton of 10 stars, so getting him upgraded further shouldn't be an issue. I'll see you in the Tree of Origin. All right, we have a little problem. We've got to level 114 in the tree, and I do not have any more stellar shards. Now, already, my freaking spiritual essence is sweating as well. That's very low. However, the solution to this is actually very simple. All we need to do is go to Patricia and regress back her tree. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead, destiny transition her, but undo it. It's going to cost me 10 soul symbols, but I get all the materials back, including the stellar shards. And what I do now is I re-upgrade her to origin 100, and then we make her surge 100 on the back of this too. And now because we've got to surge 100, we can go back and we should have stellar shards left over because all the ones needed to upgrade from surge to chaos was actually one and a half million stellar, which is going to be enough to be able to take this Mockman to the next level. So we'll enter into the Tree of Origin and we'll go ahead and upgrade him. And there you go. He's now 120. So we need to go in and level this guy up as well. So we're going to go give him his core to make sure he's equipped with this. And we're going to go and go to the destiny. But to do that, we need sublimation. And therefore, we're going to have to make sure we've got sublimation upgrades on this guy. So we can do the passives. They were already on Elena. This is going to be completely okay. And with those upgraded, we need to finish the active skill as well. With 37,000, we don't actually need that much to take this over the edge. So if we go back, one of those chests we picked up, the 9,000 chests, should be enough to finish us off. Heck, I've got these ones too, which could be pretty helpful. Um, actually, these three, I think we used two of these on the active. I think that's enough. Yeah. So we'll grab this twice. That's going to get us 8640. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be very close, if not exactly, what we need. Yeah, perfect. 46,300. Amazing. So that's an upgrade there. And now I'm going to open one of our melon chests to give us an active skill. So that's 90,000 from here. Brilliant. And with that, we can go ahead and take the active skill to Noble, which means we only need to worry about the basic attack now. There's 13,000 here already. So we're going to need 32,000 to get this to 45 to get that first upgrade. So let's grab this three times. As we said, that's 27,000 coming in. And now we can open these three down here for the same thing. And that's going to get us another 10,000, which should be enough. If not, we just need a tiny bit more. Yep, there you go. 51,000. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and pop that in. Upgraded. And now we'll go to our lemon chest that's sitting in the bag. And that's going to give us the additional 45,000 we need. And then we'll grab one of our melon chests to finish it off. So with all that stuff, we should be able to upgrade this. Three more levels. There you go. Perfect. So now we need to go ahead and give this guy some destiny improvements. So let's go to the destiny transition, give him some upgrades here, and get him to origin 100. However, we are going to run out of stellar shards doing this. So let's go ahead and check our bag to see if we have more ways of getting stellar shards on the account. First of all, we have 84 of these chests right here. So we're going to pop that open. That's going to get me another 210,000. We have these here. This is not stellar shards, but it's still plenty of good stuff. Also, sky chests offer us stellar shards. So I think in this particular moment, that's definitely what we want to go for. And that's another 750,000. And have I bought the monthly carnival card yet? <gasps> How have I not managed to buy this in all the time that I've been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because there's been so many VIP events and it's just never, ever dawned on me to get the monthly carnival card in all that. That's really, really strange. All right, I'm going to grab this. <laughs> and there we go. We've bought it, which means we can claim a lot of the rewards through here that we'll get. And on top of that, I realize I haven't done my tavern quests. I don't have a seven star quest. So let's go into the taverns and let's get ourselves a seven star quest real quick. So I'm going to try this the lucky way. I'm going to open 25 of these. And hopefully a 7-star quest will magically appear. LOL! I actually did get Dark Arthur Doll's Legend a 7-star quest. That is fantastic. So let's just quick finish that. Amazing. We'll quick dispatch the rest. <laughs> That's brilliant. And uh, yeah, in that case, we can go to our cool events. Go take a look at our monthly events. And we can finish this tavern quest right here by submitting the badge. 
there you go. So that's also gone ahead and got me a ton of these chests, 138 of them. Wow, that's a lot of stars. <laughs> that's, oh yeah, 345,000, nice. Okay, now we definitely don't have a stellar shot issue. Let's carry on upgrading this Mockman. We need to get him to Origin 100. Here we go. That is Origin 100, which means if we go to the temple, we've got another level to enjoy. So, here in the Transition Temple, we'll go ahead and level it up. Wait, what's going on? <gasps> Natalia's not Surge 100? I need more stellar shards! No! <laughs> Okay, we, we've got this here. This will give us some stellar shards. We get an egg. Then we're going to get crystals. We'll grab ourselves some of this stuff too. That means I can go ahead and get even more stellar shards from here. Another egg. More crystals. And then we'll buy these to unlock the next level. In which we'll get even more stellar shards. This guy gives 300,000. If we beat that, that's the ticket. Heck, even boss too. Let's see how we do. I'm gonna send us in against this first boss. This is difficulty 5. And not having PDE is gonna suck, you're absolutely right. Okay, we've got some survival going on here, which is nice. Not tons. Oh, come on, Patricia. Ah, oh, she needs too long, man. Yeah, she's dead. There's no way we beat this one. We'll try this time against the second boss instead. It's probably gonna be easier. Crowd control is going to suck, but I think we'll be okay. The Alomac will definitely help with survival. And Patricia already has a ton of control immunity. And Auspicious Lucky Cat is only going to help with that. So I think we're going to be fine. Survival is already looking really, really good. And Auspicious Lucky Cat is going to ramp up the Patricia to the point where I think she kills this. And even if she gets silenced, that's not too bad for her. Come on, Patricia. Okay, she's doing okay. Good chunk damage coming out. <gasps> Guys, yeah, we've got this. We've got this. We've got this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, survival's not a problem here. Alomax definitely keeping us alive with his shields. The only times it's bad is if we get crowd controlled. I'm feeling good, though. We've done a lot of damage to them. Auspicious Lucky Cat is ramping and ramping and ramping. Stun there on Patricia is not ideal, though. That crowd control is so clutch from them. Yikes. We just need a huge active skill from Patricia and Natalie. Although Natalie's getting a lot of counters here. There's the active. That's beautiful. Tons of damage coming out there. Yo. Oh, come on. Come on, Patricia. Dude, she's got such a crazy active if she gets one through here. I can't believe she's not been allowed to do one for so many rounds. She's doing a lot of counters, though. This is real clean. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, mate, this is it, this is it. Oh, no, she got silenced. Frick, dude. We're still getting a lot of counter damage, though. Come on, come on, Patricia. Oh, she's petrified. We break free with Control Purify. There we go! Oh, no way. I can't believe it. Oh, frick, man. We did so much damage as well. I have one attempt left. We're putting Balance Strike on. Second time now against this. We need that damage. How many crystals? I'm like 4.8. It's ridiculous. Yeah, we're, we're not a 5 mil ramble. Okay, now all eyes on Patricia here. She needs to get a really good setup active skill. Already the damage is fantastic though. Right, look, that boss took way more damage. Balance Strike putting in huge work. Come on. I got a good feeling, man. I got a real good feeling. Okay. Natalie does have an active skill now. Which is pretty cool if she gets that through. That'll be really, really nice. That should kill the boss, actually, which will be massive for us. Oh, yo, I think she's going to get it. Oh, she is? Let's go. Huge damage. Let's go. Oh, there it is, guys. 
Absolutely dead. There's no way they stop us now. Perfect. Mate, that didn't even feel like the same team. That was crazy. Yeah, I put DGM with Balance Strike. I put everyone with Balance Strike. That was nutty. That does give us as well the Stellar Shards we need. That takes us to 1.2 million, which is absolutely perfect. So come on, Natalie. Let's get you upgraded to the next level. Here we go. It's time for Surge 100. Feels like trying to get the last bit of toothpaste out of the tube. Bro, that's so relatable. Sometimes it is just like that in Idle Heroes, trying to squeeze that last bit out. But either way, there you go. That is Surge 100, which means we can go to the temple and squeeze that last bit of toothpaste out and get ourselves another level here, which is awesome. That means we now have plus one divine power, which means it's time to try and get the next level here as well. That's going to require two D3s. You can see two chaoses here and one surge. Fortunately, that is going to be very doable for us because we can rip all the stellar shards off of that Mockman to make it happen. So what we're going to do is all that effort we put into building this Mockman is immediately going to disappear because we're going to swap Mockman and Elena again. So now we just need to level up the heroes so that we have another tier on Aelomac, another tier on Natalie, and another tier on Patricia. Should be pretty easy. We're just going to go to all of their destinies and take them to the next level. Alrighty. We now have all our heroes upgraded. So we have Destiny 3 on Patricia and on Natalia. And for the Alomac, he's upgraded to Surge 100. So with those upgrades, we should be able to go to the Transition Temple and get the next level up. And that is huge. Level 4 in the Temple gets us quite a lot of things. Initially, it's going to get us the next upgrade on heroes so we can get Core 100 on a hero. And it gets us plus 2 in divine power which is incredible to get to the next level as well it requires us to have five destiny heroes which is just way too much for this account right now so what we've achieved is by far the best we can possibly do with what we have so what we do now is i'm gonna actually rip back the alamac because that will then allow me to build up a different hero and it's going to get me all the stellar shards back in him. I only need him to be level 100. He doesn't need to stay destiny. And I need a lot of stellar shards if we're going to be upgrading Elena and another hero into our team. Because they're going to need a lot of upgrades themselves. So what we'll do is we'll keep Natalie and DGN where they are. And we'll just go ahead and bring the Alamac down at level. So let's go to the evolution cube. Let's put in Freya. And she's going to be our next Transcendence Hero on this account. We'll put in Alamac, and that's going to get us everything in the Alamac back, which is a ton of Stellar Shards and a lot of Crystals of Transcendence. Really nice. Okay, we don't have quite enough Crystals of Transcendence right now, so we're going to have to bring the Natalie down a level, but that's still completely fine. So we'll go into Natalie's Destiny Transition, and we're going to go ahead and reset this for 10 Soul Symbols, and then we'll re-upgrade her again but it's going to save us some Crystals of Transcendence by doing this. In fact, let's get the Alamac upgraded to Transcendence so we don't accidentally spend all of our Crystals of Transcendence. And that leaves us with basically 1.2 million Crystals to use freely in the Destiny. Yeah, it's really crazy how expensive this is on Crystals of Transcendence. It really gets silly. Either way, let's Destiny Rise her and take her up. Okay, there it is. Surge 100 on our Natalia. Perfect. So now we just need to make sure our Transcendence Heroes are leveled up. Right, so we've managed to make Alomac, Elena, and Freya all to Void 4. Beautiful. Now we need to start upgrading the trees. Now, I need to be aware of my Spiritual Essence count. We do have a fair amount that I can make all three of them T5, but my Stellar Shards are going to make that decidedly difficult. So we're going to start with the Alomac and upgrade him to T5, and then we'll aim for the Freya and see how far we can take Elena. Also, we can give Elena her armor back. I'm going to slap a crown on her. And for Freya, there's a few things we need to do. First of all, she needs a stone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Mate, I have no dust. This is going to be rough. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, we are making heroes too fast. Like genuinely too fast. I am out of dust entirely. Oh my goodness. Fortunately, I do have a chest down here, which means I can get some ranger armor from that. So we'll pop that out, and we'll use that chest to get ourselves ranger armor, and now we'll upgrade it. So we go to the blacksmith, we go to Grey Dwarf Blessing, we go to Resonance Suits, Resonance Forge, and we're going to take this up using some gems and some gold. And that should be some resonant armor that we can use on Freya. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attune this to Freya as well. Give me a sec. All right, let's equip this armor onto Freya then. There we go. Full resonance gear. We'll give her a lucid mirror. That's not bad. And the thing we're lacking now, of course, is 10 star heroes. So our new project is going to be getting 10 star heroes to make some progress. When it comes to promotion stones, I only have 46,000. So getting 10 stars is actually going to be quite tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off. When we do Fantasy Factory, we will get some food from here, hopefully. And I'll be able to use some of that to move us forwards without it costing us too many promotion stones. And we'll be able to build some more 10 stars and get this Freya higher. I think Elena's going to be on the downplay for a bit. I don't really want a Tree of Origin Elena. I'd rather Tree of Origin Freya. But as you can see, food is now the bottleneck for this account. It's not going to be so much of an issue. I do have a lot of five stars sitting around. It just requires tidying and gaining promotion stones. So I might have to do a lot of destroying as well to get more promotion stones. But also with monthly events coming through, they reset very soon. So there is a chance we can get some more rewards from here, which will definitely help. The dust will allow us to get a new stone on Freya. But all in all, we have had a really, really productive day. We've gone ahead and managed to get ourselves the Transition Temple to level 4, which is brilliant. And it nearly resulted in failure, but thanks for beating that boss, we managed to get the Stellar Shards we needed. So yeah, it was a close one today. I'm really excited we managed to squeeze out that progress. And now it's just a matter of tidying things up, consolidating resources, and building up the heroes that we have. So folks, join us for next time, where we're going to hopefully have more upgrades on the Freya, get our sublimation dished out to the heroes that need it, and of course, move the account forwards in Void Campaign with a really solid team now. And thanks to having more divine power on Patricia and on Natalia, they're going to hit even harder. And hopefully, as we get some more crystals, we might even be able to get some more destiny levels on Natalia and Patricia as well. All good stuff, and I'm very looking forward to seeing how that goes. Until then, though, have an amazing week. Look after yourselves. Let me know how your Idol Heroes account is going. And don't forget to subscribe to catch all that stuff in the future. Hopefully, I'll catch you in the next one. And of course, until then, have an amazing week and happy idling.